Hey gang, welcome back. It is Captain Cowboy here with another troop formation video. This is going to be for troop formations of 150,000 to about 175,000, and also down to about 125,000, so anywhere from the range of 125,000 to 175,000 troops. So, let's go ahead and reset this march s setup again, just to give you all an idea of what your march should look like. So basically, with this uh, troop formation, it's going to be very similar um, to all my other troop formations, whereas we want a good split between the two different types of troops uh, within each type. So there's usually a light troop and a heavy troop. Um, they both attack different, they have different uh, attack benefits against different types of troops, whereas infantry, they have um, better defensive abilities against specific types of troops. Um, so, what I'm going to recommend is I'm going to recommend that you primarily utilize your highest tier troop in a higher quantity over your second highest tier troop, and then you still have a strong number of your second highest tier troop in order to get that additional attack bonus. However, your highest tier troop is going to ultimately be um, your strongest. So I'm going to recommend that you start off with about 40,000 of your highest tier troops. So again, my T10 distance is my highest tier here. And we're going to start off with 60,000. 80,000. There. So we're up to 160,000 troops. So I don't know if I can do that. Yeah, okay. So let's bring this down to 35. 35. There, there we go, that's 151,000. Okay, so from here what I'm going to recommend is I'm going to recommend bringing this down to s about 50. Okay, and then our highest tier troop we're going to bring down to about 20,000. 20, uh, 25,000. Now we're at 102,000, we have room for another 50,000 troops. My second highest tier, so it's going to be T10s. We're going to go 15,000 here. Alright. And then with my T9 distance. We're going to do 10,000 there. So I'm going to recommend I go down to about 40,000. So that about half of my troops will be my second highest tier. Okay, now we have 7,000 left to play with. So uh, what I would recommend is I would recommend 2,000 of my third highest tier troop and then 500 down all the way to the bottom. So, again, from the top, we're splitting up our troops. So, um, 150,000, we're doing 25,000 each. 25,000 divided by 150. That's 16% for my highest tier infantry, highest tier cavalry. We're going to have a higher quantity for our T10 distance, which is my highest level distance, okay? And then from here, we're going to have a nice little split between... Um, we're going to have a nice little split in our next highest tier for infantry and cavalry to gain those additional attack bonuses. And then moving further down from there, we're going to have about 2,000 of my third highest tier troops in each quantity. And then below the third highest tier, so the fourth tier, down to the bottom, depending on how many tiers you have, probably I'm assuming your, your highest tier is T9s. I would recommend that your troop formation looks about 500 in each of the quantities. That gives you bonuses against each different type of troop. It also gives you fodder. So you're going to have lower tier troops in front of your higher tier troops. And what that means is your lower tier troops will die before your higher tier troops do to give you a little bit of extra protection. So with that being said, I hope this helps you all. It's time for me to go do the new world. So stay tuned. If you have any questions about this troop formation, go ahead and ask. Um, 
there are different types of troop types within each type. So, like distance lawyers, riflemen, and grenadiers. So grenadiers have better attack against musketeers. Musketeers are your infantry. Riflemen have increased attack against cavalry. So you want to differentiate it. However, you do want more quantity of your higher tier because your higher tier does have a higher baseline statistic as compared to your second highest tier troop which will have a slightly lower baseline statistic. Now if you add a higher if you add to the same percentage to 10 compared to 5, you have an overall higher increase at the 10 stat than you do with a 5. That's why you want to have higher amount of troops in your T10s than you do with your T9s. As always, ladies and gentlemen, if you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Hit me up in the DMs and I'd be more than happy to help you. This is Captain Cowboy. Thank you all for watching.